Hello class, this is Mom Seth, signing on. This video lecture will talk about inheritance in Java with sample program. Let's begin. So what is inheritance in Java? Just please kindly read the meaning on your screen. Just remember that it is a mechanism in which one object acquires all the properties and behaviors of a parent object. We we'll take a look at the diagram here. So inheritance, it is the capability of a class to use the properties and methods of another class while adding its own functionality. So inheriting the characteristics of the parent class by the child class. So let's take a look at the example here in our diagram. For example, class 2 is an employer record system with a generic employee class with states and actions that are, you know, common to all employees. Then let's take, for example, this class 3, 4, and 5 has inherited the characteristics of our class 2 here, but with more specific characteristics such as, for example, hourly rate, salary rate, and commissioned employees, something like that. In short, through inheritance, we can reuse code as well as making design in a much cleaner and simpler process. Now we have two types class inheritance. We have the super class or base class or parent class. This is the generic class that is inherited. And then we have the subclass or derived class or children class. So these are the other terms. These are the specific classes that does the inheriting. So whatever the characteristics that the parent class has, it could be inherited by our subclass here. So, for example, if we may use an analogy, the class dog might have subclasses called, for example, we have the Coli, Golden Retriever, and Chihuahua. So, the instance of the Coli, for example, our subclass could be Lassie. So, assume we define method in the dog class called Bark and a property called Fur Color, for example. So those are the sample scenario if we may use an analogy. Here let's talk about inheritance with the sample source code. Take note of the inheritance syntax you have here. You should always be writing the inheritance in your source code. To avoid syntax error, you have to follow our syntax. You have the class and then the subclass name. And then do not forget the keyword extends. And then the superclass name. It's a case sensitive, so you have to write exactly as how did you write the subclass and then the superclass. Capital if it's capital and then small or small letters. So we have here, take a look at your screen, the example of our superclass, which is vehicle. So in here, our vehicle has two methods, the go and the stop. These are the operations that is usually common to all our vehicles. All of them is, could be moving or stop. And then we have here the subclass, which inherits the characteristics of our superclass vehicle. So our subclass here, as an example, is the car. And then as you can see, it has a variable for wheels and doors which is unique to cars. So usually the, the cars has four wheels and then it has four doors, okay? Notice that uh, we use the extends keyword here to inherit the characteristics of our superclass vehicle here. So this is how we follow our inheritance syntax. This is an example. In here, we have another example of a subclass, which is a bicycle. 
And then we use the extends keyword to inherit the characteristics of our superclass, which is vehicle. And then in our source code for our subclass, which is bicycle, we declare wheels again and then the, p the pedals. So the bicycle usually has two pedals. And of course, it has two wheels. So this is again another example of a subclass. So this is an additional subclass for our vehicles. The first one, we have the car. And then now we have the bicycle. So to complete our inheritance here, we have our main class, which we're going to perform the method calling or the so-called object-oriented programming. So as you can see in the main class here, we call the our superclass methods, which is the go and the stop. And then we also instantiate the subclass, which is the car and the bicycle. And as part of our output, we call the value of our doors and the pedals. So that's why we have this kind of output here. As we had mentioned earlier, we give the initial value for our doors 4 and then for the pedals 2. So that explains our output. And that completes our sample source code programs for our inheritance. So we have the main class, we have the super class, which is the vehicle, and then we have the subclass, which is the car and the bicycle. Let's create a sample program that shows inheritance. As usual, we click the file. Choose new project. And then we will name our package as last name inheritance but first of course we have to click the java in the category and then in the project click java application and then click next then for the name of our file project name is last name inheritance so again your last name should be your last name and then the term inheritance make sure that the create main class checkbox is checked here and then click the finish button and then wait for the program to create the template once the project template is created again remove the unnecessary comments and then simply insert your signature after removing all the unnecessary comments and inserting your signature as an author we can now create our super class so this is our main class so to create our super class we will right click the project node and then from the option you choose new then click java class then our name for the super class is super vehicle so do not forget to place underscore Since more than one word is not allowed in a class name and then simply choose the package that we created earlier the last name inheritance and then click the finish button and then again 
insert your signature at the top and remove other comments that is not needed in our program. For our super class, we create the methods that is common to all vehicles like the method here go which says this vehicle is moving and another method here stop which says this vehicle is stop so these are the methods or operations that is common to all vehicles so that is what is supposed to be included in our super class this thing here will be inherited by our subclass. Let's now create a subclass that will inherit the characteristics of our superclass here. So again, we click our main class, right click, choose Java class, and then we'll name our subclass underscore for example a car a type of a vehicle then do not forget to include our package name and then click the finish button then wait for our NetBeans to create the template and there you go so again clear the unnecessary mm -hmm. comment then insert your signature as usual. And you may start writing your source code for your subclass, which is, in this example, we have a car. So you're going to write the source code here that is unique for a car. In our source code here, notice that we use the keyword extends super vehicle to inherit the characteristics of our super class which is super vehicle this one okay and then we initiate variable wheels and doors these are some of the unique characteristics of a cars so let's assume that the car of course will have four wheels and then we'll have four doors okay be reminded to not to forget to type semicolon to avoid syntax errors and when you type the curly bracket there should all this should always be pair open and close curly bracket Now let's create another subclass for bicycle for example. So let's again click on our main class, new, and then choose Java class. And we'll name our subclass sub underscore bicycle. So again, do not forget to place it inside our package the last name inheritance and then click the finish button so at the usual remove the comment and then insert your signature once you remove all the unnecessary comments and you insert your signature in your source code then you may start writing the source code which is unique characteristics for a bicycle which is under our superclass vehicle so this is now our subclass a bicycle for example so think of the characteristics of a bicycle that is unique notice that we use again the extends keyword to inherit the characteristics of our super vehicle here our super class to inherit the methods here the go and the stop 
and then we have here an instantiation of our wheels for the bicycle obviously it has two and it has two pedals as well so this could be enough just to show you the difference between subclasses so as you can see as a whole we have subclass bicycle and subclass car and our superclass is vehicle and then we can uh, write the code for our main class which we are going to demonstrate an object oriented program here's now our source code for our main class that shows object oriented programming or method calling as you can see here in our main class we instantiate our subclass which is the car notice that it's a case sensitive so we have to write the actual name for our subclass the sub car and the sub bicycle so this is now our new variable for our car and for the bike notice that we call the method go and stop from our super class the super vehicle here and then as part of our output we would like to display how many doors are there in the car and then how many pedals are there in a bike so that's how method calling happens in our main class which makes it an object oriented program let's now run our program right click at the source code and then choose run file as a result now here we have the statement this vehicle is moving from our super class vehicle here and we have the this vehicle is stop for our super class again from the method stop so going back at our main class it's all because of this line 10 we call the method go here and then in line 12 we call the method stop here and then where is this for coming this is from our doors from our subclass car which we instantiate or give an initial value for our doors which is 4 and then the 2 comes from the pedals the number of pedals which we initialize in our subclass bicycle here okay so that's how inheritance happens in Java programming the characteristics of the superclass is inherited by our subclass so no need to write a very long program just inherit the characteristics from the superclass by the subclass and then call it at once in our main class and that's ends our discussion hope these codes inspires you as you develop your programming skills and so that's it watch out for more video lectures stay safe and god bless everyone thank you for watching this is mom says signing off